Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video let's quickly set up a 3 node HCD cluster. I've added documentation in my GitHub repository. So basically we are going to be setting up 3 HCD nodes and uh, deploy them as a cluster. And then let's do some quick testing to see if we can put data, read data, delete data and so on. So in my Kubernetes repository, I'll put a link to my GitHub repository in the video description. I've added this directory kubeadm external hcd and I've just added one readme file for this demo but I'll be adding more documentation for the other videos that, I'm, that I'll be doing. Um, if you want, you can follow this on your own virtual machines or your own physical servers but if you want to try it in a local workstation in a virtualized environment, I've also got the, uh, the Vagrant file, the Vagrant environment for hcd. If I go into etcd and I look at the vagrant files okay so basically you will get three virtual machines uh, all of them are Ubuntu 2004 and each of them will have one gig of memory and one CPU and if you want to use this with your uh, KVM libvirt virtualization environment you can just use it just do vagrant up minus minus provider libvirt and it will choose this code block here okay so this is going to be my host machine I've got a processor and 30 gig of memory 8 CPU and 30 gig of memory and I've got vagrant installed I've got VirtualBox installed vbox manage list vms at the moment I don't have any virtual machines uh, let me clone my kubernetes repository git clone kubernetes cd to kubernetes and then to kubeadm external hcd and I'm going to cd to hcd infrastructure and do a vagrant up command okay so that's going to bring up three virtual machines which we can then use to install hcd and bring up the hcd cluster i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done all right so all of our three virtual machines are up and if i go to my documentation so it's hcd infra and i did vagrant up you are free to use your own virtual machine but if you're using my vagrant environment just bear in mind that you will get the ip address in the range 172.16.16.221 for the first node 222 for the second node and 223 for the third node and one gig of memory and one cpu and ubuntu 2004 by the way this should work on any linux distribution okay so it's not any distribution specific steps or documentation it should work equally well on any linux distribution okay and i've also got a bootstrap when i bring up the vagrant machine vagrant up it also does this provisioning and all i'm doing in this bootstrap script is enabling the password authentication and I'm also setting up the uh, password for the root account, which I'm setting it to etcd admin. Okay, so back in my GitHub, let's look at the documentation. So the idea is to set up a very simple etcd cluster. So it's going to be very simple and I'm going to be running the following commands on all the etcd nodes and all the virtual machines that we just created. So the node here is perform all the commands logged in as root user. I'm going to do that as a root user, but if you don't want to do it, make sure the user that you are running these commands as has pseudo privileges and you prefix pseudo appropriately. Okay, so for example, you don't need to prefix sudo for the wget, but you need to prefix sudo for the move command because you're moving it into user local bin. So for that reason, I prefer to run all these commands as root user because I know what I'm actually doing. So the first thing is, let me log into all my three virtual machines that I just started. So for that, I'm going to bring up tmux and open up three panes and log into each one of them. Let me synchronize the pane ssh root at 172.16.16.221 222 223 okay and the password is hcd admin okay so i'm logged into all the three virtual machines you can see the host name here hcd1 hcd2 and hcd3 and if i do lsb release you can see i'm running ubuntu 2004 with one CPU and one gig of memory. So what's next? The first thing is we are going to download the etcd binary and move it to use the local bin. And we are downloading a spe very specific version, which is version 3.4.10. Let's copy that. All right, that's done. And now we should be having, we should have two binaries under user local bin. 
user local etcd and there you go so you have the etcd and the etcd ctl binary all right so the next step is to create a systemd unit file for the etcd service i'm going to copy this but bear in mind you need to run this you need to create this service systemd unit file on all the three machines but there is this variable here node ip so i need to edit this node ip depending on where i'm running this so all i'm doing is just creating the systemd unit file and if you look in here the unit file contains the etcd binary and we are starting the etcd binary with some options here in my case uh, the ip addresses are 172 16 16 221 222 and 223 uh, but if you are using a different ip range that just make sure to change these three variables and also this one based on which machine you are actually running so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to open up a text editor paste this on my first machine etcd1 the ip address is 221 so i don't need to change anything just copy that and let me turn off the synchronization because i want to paste it just on the etcd1 machine and on etcd2 i just need to change the ip address to 2 and then copy paste and for etcd3 change the node ip to 223 copy and paste and now i'm going to enable the synchronization again and enter cool okay so we've created our systemd unit file for the etcd service and now because we've created this new file we need to reload the systemd daemon so systemctl daemon reload and then we are going to enable etcd service and start the etcd service with the single command enable minus minus now okay copy and paste so now it's bringing up the etcd service and we should be able to look at the status of the etcd service system ctl status etcd all right cool so etcd is all running fine i'm going to log out of all nodes except etcd1 okay so now we've got our etcd cluster running how do we verify it and i've got this simple command here let's run this command okay so we are setting up a, a variable called etcd ctl underscore api equals three and we're using the etcd ctl binary that we downloaded earlier and we specify to which endpoints we are connecting to because this is a client connection assume that we are on a client machine we are connecting to the etcd cluster to a particular endpoint and you need to be connecting to the uh, port 2379 because that's the uh, port that uh, etcd listens for client connections and the command that we are running is member list so it's going to give you the list of the member in that particular cluster it's good so our cluster has three members all of them are started you can see it's etcd1 2 and etcd3 and you can also check the other machines 172 you can also try connecting to the other machines 172.0 16.16.222 which is at cd2 and you get the same result and 223 you get the same result okay so member list and what else we can do we can actually put a variable let's say put name is venkat that's okay and let's do a get get name venkat and we can also do get slash minus minus prefix minus minus keys only uh, get slash okay so I don't think that's a valid command or something okay let's try and delete the variable that we just put delete name or is it just delete del yeah that's del sorry it's not delete okay and again if i do get name i don't see anything okay cool all right so that's all i wanted to show you in this video in my next video let's uh take a look at how we can do the same thing um to encrypt the connection between these nodes and also the connection coming from the client and how to create all these certificates to secure our connection and how do we authenticate and so on so it's going to be very interesting Stay tuned and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.